Okay, question 13. We are shown a picture of a cuboid and we're told here the diagram shows a cuboid. The length is 5x plus 1, the width is 2x plus 3 and the height is x. Okay, the length is 7 centimetres longer than the width, we're told, and it says to work out the volume of a cuboid. Now, hold your horses here before you launch into this five mark question. We know that the volume of a cuboid is the length times the width times the height, multiplying all these things together. Now, if we multiply these things together, we're going to have a cubic equation. We're going to have x cubed involved. We haven't learned how to solve those uh, without trial improvement in GCC. So this is this is can't be right. We're missing one key important information, and this line here is the absolute key to this question. Students miss this, they don't read the question carefully and therefore they get stuck. The length, which is the length 5x plus 1, is 7 centimetres longer than the width. So if we take the length, one way of doing it, and we subtract the width, which is 2x plus 3, we would be left with 7 because the length, take away the width, must be 7. The length is 7 centimetres longer than the width. Okay, So this would give us that 5x plus 1. And let's be distributive with the negative there. Subtract 2x, subtract 3 is 7. Therefore, we have 5x, subtract 2x, which is 3x. Then we have 1, subtract 3, which is negative 2 is 7. And therefore, this is telling us that x, therefore adding 2 and dividing by 3, x must be 3. Okay, so that is the key, key bit of information for this question. Now, let me just show you another way. If you didn't like the, my interpretation of this here, let's just say this. The length is 7 centimetres longer than the width. Therefore, the length could be 5x plus 1. Okay, must therefore be the width, which is 2x plus 3. Add 7. You may like that way of doing it. Okay, because if the length is 7 centimetres longer than the width, then the length is equal to the width plus 7. Okay, and therefore we can just use algebra here in the exact same way. It just, we don't have uh, negatives to worry about here. So we'd have 5x plus 1 is equal to 2x plus 10. Then we could subtract 2x off both sides, so I'd get 3x plus 1 equals 10. I could subtract 1 off both sides, 3x equals 9. And again, x is equal to 3. So whichever way around you liked it. That there would get us the bulk of the marks. And the volume is therefore the length times the width times the height. Now the length is therefore 5x plus 1 would be 16 centimetres. The width therefore would be 2 times 3, uh, which is 6, plus 3, which is 9. And the height is just 3. And all we need to do is we need to uh, multiply these numbers together on our calculator and we get ourselves 432 centimetres cubed. And that's that. We're done. What seemed like a, a difficult question is actually very straightforward if you read the key sentences in the question. If you don't, you're going to get yourself a cubic, you can't solve it, you'll have x cubed, you won't know what to do and you'll get virtually no marks for that. However, reading the question, it makes everything so much straightforward.